today's video, I share the dangers of TRT and a fix that not many speak about, all while sharing personal opinions when it comes to getting ahead that some might say is a bad quality to have. So go ahead and hit the like button, sit back and enjoy the video. So I need to go do a blood dump, which means I need to get rid of a pint of blood out of my body, a whole pint. So I have to drive like a half hour away to go get it done because that's where my doctor's office is at. I mean, it's, it's, it sucks because it, I'm wasting a half hour to get there, half hour to get back, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna go straight to the gym right afterward. Probably should not work out, but I haven't worked out in like a week and a half. You know, the holidays had stuff going on, but I wanna work out, I'll do some light work. What light work? I don't know, but I'll do something. I know that for sure. I've been having some minor issues, not like a bad, but I think they're starting to escalate. And my doctor did tell me like a week ago or two that, hey, I need you to go do two blood dumps before your next uh, blood work. Because my blood work from two or three weeks ago, let's just call it a month ago, because I forget how long it's been already. Uh, these came back normal, except for my hemoglobin. And I'll get into that again, all right? I'll, I'll get into that later in the video. Um, right now, I gotta go there. I gotta pick up some food. Uh, I ate like a pound of beef today uh, and some eggs and some other stuff. And I honestly feel hungry. I am starving. Like, I feel like I have not had anything to eat. I had a protein shake with uh, some milk, some frozen berries, and I, I feel hungry. I feel like I haven't had anything to eat. I'm pretty sure I've had like around roughly 150 grams of protein. It's not a lot, but I feel like with the other food groups that I've had with my protein, should have like balanced me out, but like, I, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm starving. And I was talking to the lobotomist. I think that's her title. I don't know, the person that draws the pint of blood out of me. I was talking to her saying, hey, my heart lately has been feeling like it's working harder. And she's like, yeah, this is probably gonna help you out. I keep an eye on your heart. If that does not help, let us know. It could be something else. But I honestly feel a lot better now that I don't have as much blood in my body. And that's a side effect of being on testosterone. You know, I don't take a lot, but I do take enough that it is giving me extra benefit, you know, in that regard of having more blood, which kind of sucks because I do have to go in there probably more often. Well, I never had to go there before, but like it sucks that I have to go there every like month or two, three months or so to get a pint of blood out. The doctor last week said I should get a second pint out. So maybe I'll do that next week. Maybe I'll feel a lot better, but I'm honestly feeling way better. 100% way better already. The downside, well, actually, I don't know if this is the downside or not, but I actually had a shot this morning. So I don't know if like I got rid of the testosterone that I had in my bloodstream because they took out a pint. I doubt it, but I don't know how that stuff works, you know, um, but I guess we'll find out in you know, four days, maybe three days, I'll take another shot. Um, we'll have to take another shot, but will it be three days or four days? I don't know. We'll see what happens. So this is the first time I'm using the microphone again. Uh, I just got it back in the mail, so hopefully it's fixed. Hopefully it's working properly. Man, I'm already sweating my ass off. I did, I think, 45 minutes of uh, the bike which was great, you know, I got here extremely early, so might as well get some cardio in. I feel way better, like I'm exhausted, but I'm not fatigued in the sense of like my heart, like I was before. Uh, all right, but I'm doing abs, that's first workout, just to have the gym kind of clear out some more before I get into my main lift. Uh, and I think I'm doing biceps today. It's gonna be like three exercises maybe, and then probably calling it a day. And then, oh, maybe not, I don't know. Cause I wanna do my rehabilitation workouts that I have said that I'm gonna do, that I still don't do. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is already at the right height. Yeah, 100% my abs are gonna be a true sore. Hopefully, hopefully you're actually able to hear me because I got a speaker 
right above my head. So hopefully this ends up coming out clear. Let me record it back up. There we go. Okay, now I'm recording it back up. All right, we're starting off with 115. This is my favorite machine to do hammer curls with. So that is what I'm doing. Uh, these handles, I don't know why, I just like them to do hammer curls with instead of the actual pitcher curl. That was a good solid nine reps. Uh, I'm pretty sure that looked like I did like 13, but the last couple were like half reps, quarter reps. I'm not absolutely fucking hurt. So this past weekend was Thanksgiving, right? Uh, my girlfriend and I spent Thanksgiving day with my family and then Thanksgiving weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday at her family. Um, we didn't watch the Ohio State game. Ohio State lost. Uh, some bad calls were made. You know, either way, it, it sucks. But whatever I ate this, this last week, oh my God, this morning, I got on my desk treadmill because I'm walking every 30 minutes. Every fucking 30 minutes, I'm going to the bathroom to take a fucking shit. I'm pooping every 30 minutes. And I'm not lying. Up until like, from 8 a.m. to like noon, every 30 minutes, in the bathroom. I don't know why. I don't know why. I had Chipotle last night with some corn. The corn will be coming out tomorrow, most, most likely. Uh, but this past weekend, man, uh, shitty weekend. Like I haven't worked out in a week and a half or so. And I can't find any good music to play, like nothing, nothing good. All right, let's do another set. So this set, last time I did seven reps, so I have to do at least eight. Oh, excuse me. And again, when you're doing these exercises, you wanna focus on the actual forearm and not the bicep because we're doing hammer curls, all right? Well, frankly, that's not 100% true. Um, it's focusing on the brachialis, which is technically under the bicep. It's been a while since I've done my studying, but. Oh man, this guy's fucking heavy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh. I did more reps this time. If it, if, I did more reps and the exercise felt way heavier, but I just need to take a long rest period because I'm pretty sure that first one was not long enough. Even though I just said this is not technically a direct hit to the biceps, my biceps are actually pretty pumped up. Crazy, crazy, but it feels fucking good. And I think having less blood in my system actually helped out, helped out a lot with that. Just because there's more blood flowing through my body. I don't know how to explain it. It's like I took a pre-workout, like a vasodilator, nitric oxide. Is that one of them? Something that allows more blood flow to, something that increases blood flow. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like I took more stuff like that. And uh, it's definitely helping a lot. Honestly, I don't remember how long it's been. I did not look at the time. Turn. I mean, this came, this song came out back when I was like a sophomore in high school. I graduated 10 years ago this year. Um, crazy, extremely crazy. You know, working out and eating properly in the holidays, it's never easy. Cause you got like friends want to do stuff. Um, 
the partner wants to do stuff and my friend group they don't really understand the whole aspect of working out training like nobody really does as much as i do like i enjoy coming in here like eating for my performance in the gym uh, which is not always the best but you know I, I like to try to keep that in mind you know it is more of the forefront of my head than my friend group and that, that kind of sucks because i just can't i can't relate with them in that in that aspect you know my uh thanksgiving with this past weekend you know kind of didn't eat very well i mean it's thanksgiving weekend you know it's time to spend with the friends and family of course the holidays man it's great time to be around people that you want to be around with but it sucks because it comes at a cost of sacrificing your goals for other people that you're only seeing for that moment they're not going to be there for very long like if it's family I completely understand friends it's kind of like an either there couple of things uh not saying you shouldn't hang out with your friends or anything just it's it's situational for me and and what i want to do type of thing you know should i prioritize this over this type of thing you know <sighs> so it's just it, it kind of sucks uh, and i feel like i'm coming off pretty selfish trying to you know, focus on myself but when you want to get ahead and you want to do more stuff for yourself you just gotta be selfish to an extent you know be more selfish than people around you because they're probably done growing they're probably done focusing on themselves and now it's just like go on to the next level of life i want to do those things but also like when it's like hey i cannot sacrifice the quality that makes me 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 for those other things and it's just it's just not me you know so that's just where i'm personally at uh, um, don't know where I was going with that, but at the end of the day, if you want to focus on yourself, you're going to have to make some sacrifices to reach those goals. You're just going to have to. <clears throat> yeah. I stopped counting at eight. Don't know if I have any more like full reps, like full range of motions, but I definitely did some partials in there. Ah, fuck man. Hopefully the audio is coming out pretty good. Like the audio, the microphone is over here. And I'm speaking this way, so. Hopefully it's decent enough to use. If not, all this is just going to be a voiceover. All right, what's next? I could do the inclines, dumbbells, or I can do the actual push throw that I like using to actually focus on my biceps, which I could use this, but I don't know, I just like the other ones. Comment down below which exercise I should do next and why. I'm thinking the normal preacher curl that is, in my opinion, better than this one, to actually focus on my biceps, like actually going like this, or I should do the incline dumbbell curls where I'm like on a bench and my elbows are tucked behind me to really focus on that. Um, or there, there's another exercise that you think I should do to really focus on my growth on the biceps. Comment down below. I can use all the help I can get. So you should like definitely leave a comment down below if you guess correctly as to the machine that I was gonna go use next. So I need to beat, see the most I've ever done is 13 reps. Really? Yeah. Two weeks ago, or one week ago. All right, that's what I'm going for. Right, before I can do that, I gotta find some good music. And honestly, kinda take a longer rest period.
I'm not gonna lie, I did a lot more reps than I thought I was gonna do. That felt extremely easy. I think that was 15, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go again one more time. Take a lot enough product, really. All right. For set number two, the most I've ever done with 80 is 12 reps. So I'm gonna shoot for 13. That's the goal. 13. Oh. So let's take a guess as how long my rest period has been so far. Wow, four minutes already. Cool. I honestly thought it was going to be like two minutes. 100%. There we go. <clears throat> So this next set is actually going to be an interesting one because it's going to be something that I have not done in quite a while and that is a drop set. I'm getting really hungry and I really want more beef. I've already had a pound today. I could probably go for another pound. Okay. Sounds so good right now. For this next set, I'm gonna be doing a drop set. Something that I've not done in this program in a couple months. And uh, I think today is the perfect day to do it. So I'm gonna do as many as I can, like normal. And then I'm gonna take off the 25 plate off, then do as many reps as I can again. So let's set this up in our tracker just so um, it's just easier for me to put it in. So we got 80 on here right now. We have space, and then we're gonna have 55 afterwards. Like that. We gotta make sure we put a comma there. I don't know how long I've been resting for this set, but hopefully it's been long enough. I'm gonna give it two more minutes, and then that's definitely more than one. All right, it is officially that time. Uh, what did I do last time for the normal amount of reps? I did 11. So I have to do 12 for the first set. And then after that, I can do as many as I physically can, but I have to force myself to do 12 for the first actual working set. actual working set and I think I did six reps for the drop set yeah all right I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do one more set which is not part of the plan and stick with the 55s that are on here and just kind of kind of just wrap it out 
kind of burn off the bicep. It's feeling pretty good, so we do that. But really focus on the eccentric portion, kind of stretching out the muscle. And then I'm gonna jump over to the incline machine and do that. But I can already tell you right now that that last exercise is gonna be hard as fuck. Oh. So normally I would be doing this on an incline bench, uh, but there's none over here and I didn't want to move on. So I'm just using this good old seat. Oh. All right. Where's my phone at? For this, I have the 25 pounders. Last time I did this exercise, I did six reps. Ooh. All right, looks like I gotta beat six. Like I could do more, but I'm pretty sure I was pretty exhausted. So it is what it is. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, can I do it two more times though? That is the, the real question here. Can't believe it's only 8.45. I honestly feel so like it's a lot later. It feels like the gym should be closing in like 40 minutes. But the gym's still gonna be open for another like two hours. Jesus Christ, it's only been two minutes. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. All right, after this, I'm thinking of doing uh, suitcase carries to focus on the imbalance. Uh, there's other stuff that I should do, but I just want to do those for now. Didn't take my rest period seriously, and I suffered for it, but it felt good. It was a good fucking set though. What are the exercises that I should be doing? I haven't done, done them in so long that I honestly do not remember. Uh, where's that book at? Oh, there it is. So the first exercise that I should have be doing, and I probably should have done this at the beginning of this whole workout, is, uh, what are these called? Cat camels to warm up the spine and then do some curl ups, a uh, variation of curl ups, and then a variation of the side planks, uh, the bird dog, and then we gotta reawaken the sleeping glutes because that is probably a major cause in my lower back issues. So we're gonna do some hip thrust in duration of them and some static holds, deep squat with isometric holds. There we go, that's what it's called. And then when I am satisfied with those, I can bridge the gap to early rehab to performance. Some early rehab to performance. There we go. That's that's what it should have said. Uh, and that's basically relearning how to squat. And that's when I should be doing the suitcase carry. 
Last sec, come on. Oh. I don't know what happened, but I've been up since three in the morning because I have some sharp hang in my mouth, like my gums or my tooth, I don't know. Like back here at the top, it fucking hurts. And I was fine while I was working out, but now that I'm like, when, as I'm driving home, and I'm home now, it starts to hurt again. Like stronger than ever before. Probably stronger than when it woke me up in the middle of the night. Like, I don't know why. I thought it would go away. I'm gonna brush my teeth again. Um, and I texted my sister, but she has not texted me back. She works at a dental office. Um, so I'm hoping she could give me some insight on what to do. Um, and then I might have to leave work early tomorrow to go see the doctor she works for. Uh, if he will take me, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I got this video, I got a shower because I had to go in the office tomorrow. 